Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town. And ever since I was a little kid, I've been fascinated by animals, especially really specific and exotic ones. So today I'm going to be drawing character designs based on weird and really specific exotic animals. On top of that, I'm also going to be comparing my characters to the ones from Kimono Friends, which is an anime and a game that centers around the idea of animal girls, and I think it'll be really fun to see the reveal of how differently these characters look from the same inspiration. Now the game Kimono Friends Kingdom is actually the sponsor for today's video, featuring over 400 animal girls that you can befriend. It's based on season 1 of the anime, featuring the same plot and world. And the illustrations are really intricate, with well-developed backstories inspired by their real-world origins. Check out the game using the link in the description. Um, I'm starting with the serval. Now, a serval is a type of African wild cat with long limbs and a small face. They look really cute and kind of like stretched out, I don't know. Um, and they're pretty small. Uh, they're sort of medium sized, I would say. Uh, they weigh between 9 and 18 kilograms or 20 to 40 pounds. They mainly hunt small animals like birds and rodents, um, and they usually jump. Uh, it can leap over 6 feet 7 inches above the ground uh, and sort of slam down on the prey with their feet uh, and then usually bites their head or neck. Um, so I definitely wanted to feature those big uh, fangs that they have on the tops and bottoms of their mouths. Um, and I thought for the girl character it would be really fun to um, sort of have that shape of the ears in buns on her head. Uh, I also just wanted to keep her hair relatively short for the rest of it so that it would sort of form that sort of like cat-like head shape. Um, and I definitely wanted her proportions to be serval-like, so I made her kind of long and lanky. Uh, she kind of looks like a runner, which makes sense because they are pretty quick. Um, and I noticed that they have these like spots, almost kind of like a leopard or a cheetah. They're very cheetah-like when you look at them, but they're a lot smaller than a cheetah. Um, I think that their lankiness is probably the thing that stands out most to me, so I really wanted to feature that, and I wanted her to look relatively energetic, like she's ready to pounce. Um, for the color palette, I definitely wanted to keep it with these nice like brown and um, sort of beige colors because that's the color of an actual serval. Um, and since she lives in Africa, I gave her pretty dark skin to survive the sun. Um, and I kept her eyes very accurate to the eyes of a serval. It's sort of this like grayish tan color. It looks kind of awesome to be honest. I also gave her lots of moles to sort of symbolize the uh, spots that a serval has. And generally I think that she looks really cute. I put her, um, her sort of brown high low lights I guess in her hair um, on the wrong layer so I had to redo them. And I also gave her a little stripe of white highlight um, up at the top of her buns because the serval does have some white up in its ears. Alright here is my serval girl. Let's see how different she looks from the one from Kimono Friends. Okay time for the grand reveal. Oh, okay, she looks so adorable. So she has a lot more spots on her actual outfit. Um, <laughs> and she has very realistic serval ears and tail. I think that that's so adorable. All right, next up, I wanted to try drawing a character based on the Emperor Penguin. Now, I love penguins. Um, penguins and puffins were kind of an interest of mine when I was a kid. Um, and the Emperor Penguin is the tallest and heaviest of all living penguin species. Uh, it lives in Antarctica, and um, they are very iconic in their design, I guess. Um, they have this sort of tuxedo-looking plumage, and they have this little splash of yellow and orange on them um, outside of their monochromatic rest of their bodies, um, which I feel like is very character designy. like they just look really cool. So I was very excited to try this one. For my little girl character, I definitely wanted her to um, look sort of like shy and have that uh, I guess the overall silhouette of a penguin I really wanted to capture that so I ended up giving her this little pointed hat um, that kind of looks like the way the emperor penguins stand with their beaks up in the air they kind of look like waiters don't they um, I decided to put a basket of fish on her back a big part of an emperor penguins life is 
hunting for fish and trying to have enough food in such a rough um, environment as Antarctica. Uh, and a lot of the time they're having to switch off their parenting roles, one penguin keeping their little baby egg warm while the other one goes out and tries to catch some food for the whole family. Um, it's very sweet. Um, and very difficult, but uh, for the color palette, I definitely knew I wanted to stick as close as I could to the real thing. I loved putting these little pops of orange and yellow throughout the design. I'm very curious to see how Kimono Friends um, integrates the shape of the penguin into the girl. Uh, that was something I was really fixated on with this design. And I also tried doing some more like textured gradation. It's something I'm adding to my art lately. I feel like it really helps very quickly with a feeling of like flatness in your coloring and so it's something I recommend trying if you're sort of struggling with that. I was definitely having sort of a, a flop era I feel like with my coloring um, and this is helping me crawl out of it I suppose. Um, I really like how uh, how intense she looks. I feel like an emperor penguin's life more than even some other wild animals is just incredibly fraught again because of the extreme cold that they have to live through um, in the winter time and uh, there's just a lot of predators they have to worry about, like despite the fact that they're so big, you know, you gotta worry about leopard seals. It's a stressful life, but she looks like she's handling it. All right, now it's time to see what the Emperor Penguin looks like in Kimono Friends. Oh, she looks so cool. She definitely has a more modern vibe. Mine kind of looks like a little witch, um, but I really like the headphone design. That's what jumped out at me for the first time. Um, I think that the color palette really works on both of these versions, and I totally love her. Next up, I wanted to draw the saltwater crocodile. Now, crocodiles are definitely an animal that I was obsessed with as a kid. I really loved the crocodile hunter and Steve Irwin um, and everything his family did with nature conservation. So I definitely had an interest in crocodiles, and the saltwater crocodile is native uh, from freshwater and wetlands in India's east coast throughout Southeast Asia and Northern Australia, Micronesia. Um, they are a very big and aggressive type of crocodile. Um, they're really beefy and pretty intense and I feel like they're one of those animals like sharks that get a pretty bad rep just because they do sometimes attack and eat people, um, but you know, nobody's perfect. Uh, for this character design, I definitely wanted to feature um, the energy that I think a saltwater crocodile brings. Um, she definitely had to have big fangs. Um, I think anyone who's seen a crocodile in real life definitely has been in awe of their mouth. Uh, their teeth are just incredible and throughout most of their life they can actually replace them. So even if they break one off trying to like pull a big prey into the water, uh, they can just grow it back. They're pretty gnarly in that sense. I definitely wanted her to look really um, sort of to have a scaliness to her. Uh, I wanted to have her outfit have these little fangs and spikes throughout because I mean even the back of a crocodile kind of looks like it has little spikes and teeth all over it. Um, and I definitely wanted her outfit to sort of reflect the shape of their like their little little crocodile paws. What do you even I guess it's just feet. Um, claws. I don't know. Uh, and this is the only character that I kind of just stuck with the uh, monochromatic uh, color palette. I just made her green kind of all over. I felt like she wouldn't look like a crocodile otherwise. Though truthfully, a saltwater crocodile is a bit more gray than this. I think I went a little too hard. Um, she almost looks like a mythological creature, but I was having too much fun and <laughs> getting a little distracted, I think. I definitely knew I wanted her to have diamond style fishnets on because it definitely looks a little bit more like scales. Um, and I just wanted her to look a little mischievous, uh, like she's going to pop out of the marsh and grab you. <laughs> um, I think she looks really cute and uh, a little feral, um, and I, <laughs> I, I like that. But uh, now it's time to see how the saltwater crocodile from Kimono Friends looks. Oh my gosh, these look so different. Um, so they both have the crocodile tail, but she definitely looks like more of a businesswoman who gets things done in Kimono Friends. Um, she looks like a really cool character. Last but absolutely not least is the Bactrian camel. Now I was obsessed with Bactrian camels when I was in first grade. I, I wanted to have like a camel farm full of Bactrian camels. 
Um, most people know about the single hump dromedary camel. That's usually what you see uh, in movies or even in zoos. A Bactrian camel is a two humped camel that is covered in long shaggy fur. And they're basically pretty awesome looking. Um, I still think they're really cool. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Um, but yeah, there's. Uh, they're mainly domesticated at this point. Uh, they come from the ancient historical region of Bactria, which is why they're called a Bactrian camel. And they can tolerate um, the cold and high altitudes a lot better. They can live up on like mountains and stuff. Um, so it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Um, they're related to the alpaca, um, which is not too surprising. Uh, and they're, they've been used um, for a long time as like, you know, a pack animal. Um, but uh, for this character, I definitely wanted to show her with two backpacks for the two humps of the Bactrian camel and just cover her with fur. I wanted her to look kind of stocky um, with small feet because that is the overall shape of a Bactrian camel. Like they look incredibly fluffy and dense and kind of like big and stocky up until their little tiny feet that are sticking out at the bottom, which I think is so cute. Um, I definitely wanted to look like she could handle some serious cold weather because that is one of the most exciting and interesting things about this camel. And um, they also have really long eyelashes, so even though her eyes are closed, I tried to give her like, you know, pretty intense lashes. You know, it's like one big cartoony line, but still. Um, and they shed their winter coat actually, um, peeling off in big sections. Um, <laughs> uh, they actually don't have water in their humps. I don't know if you guys know this, but camels actually store fat in their humps, not water. It still does help them deal with drought though, so it makes sense to think that. Um, so I just kind of played around with the colors for a bit. At a certain point, I wasn't too happy with it. I kind of intensified the blush on her to make it look like she's in even colder weather. Um, and she kind of looks like a Legend of Zelda NPC, I think, but yeah, she looks really cute. Um, now it's time to see the Bactrian camel from Kimono Friends. Alright, oh there she is. Okay, she looks so adorable. Um, the Kimono Friends version, I really love the little hair things she has on. They, they look like the humps of a camel. That's so smart. Um, she definitely has a girly girl aesthetic that I did not include in mine at all. Um, but I think that they're both absolutely precious. Alright, that's it for my designs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely check out the game using the link down below in the description. Uh, you can befriend all your favorite animals in the form of these characters. Let me know who your favorites are. And thank you so much to Neocraft for letting me showcase this adorable game. Thank you to all of my patrons, including Birds on a Wire, Emmy Lightning, Rayons, Brandon Stark, Jammy, CB, Crosby F, Lucy Amajiki, Live Live, Salty Jackrabbit, Noose Milk, Raven's Crow, Zocelot, T Hill Music, Jabber Dabber Doo, Gender Was Stolen, Kadaria, Deadly Nightshade Art, Astral Fox Art, The Expressive Poker Face, Tsubaki, Cutie Pie, Ruin Rain Crow, Ice Cream Pal, Cola, JJ Jade, and of course, Blah 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 Blah.